uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I put in my contact number. Somebody asked for my contact number. Uh, okay, I'm giving you my Singapore contact number in case some of you are not from Singapore. Uh, my country code is 65. My phone number is 81813631. Okay, so if, if any of you would like to be part of our prayer group, uh, and just text to me and then we'll, uh, I think from next week onwards, we'll form another Zoom uh, Zoom group. No more this Zoom uh, link. It will be another Zoom link. And this Zoom link will be prayer and intercession. And I, I, I will be giving you homework. I will ask you to apply the seven pillars of faith. Okay. And write out a prayer sent to me to check. Okay. When you are, when the seven pillars of faith are, I find that the seven pillars are there. Okay. Then on the prayer meeting, you can you can read out the prayer or you can don't see and you, you just pray spontaneously. Okay? Using the seven pillars of, of faith in God's love. I want you to practice the seven pillars of faith. Okay? okay. So, uh, okay, if you are interested after you watch the this lesson three, this last lesson, you text to me. Okay? And uh, text to me preferably by WhatsApp lah. So now I'm going to show you my uh, today's program. Okay, today's program. I'll be using the slide from the previous. Uh, I think everybody has got my PowerPoint, right? Uh, previously, I I sent you by WhatsApp. If you don't have, you 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 uh, text to me. I will send you the full PowerPoint. Okay, I want you all to learn. Practice, because the key is practice. To enter the presence, to host the presence, to enter the glory realm, it's all about practice. It's not theory, not hate knowledge. I want you all to, to practice, apply it, and then you carry the presence. The presence of God is the glory of God. Okay? Uh, we are in a season now for the glory of God, to the knowledge of God's glory to cover the earth as the water covers the sea. Okay? Now, this new norm is the new season. The knowledge of God's glory will cover the earth as the water covers the sea. And you and me are supposed to be the carrier of the glory. You are supposed, we are supposed to learn all this, apply all this, and carry the glory, the presence, okay, and teach others, multiply. That's why I'm giving you all the PowerPoint. Okay? Yeah. So, so the glory is the one that will bring you into the, uh, the glory or the presence. It will protect you. Okay, That's why it's so important. We are in a season of shakening. The whole world is undergoing a shakening. Okay? Some, say, some prophets say we are in the seventh seal. The, what, the first and second seal. The, 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 the horsemen. The black horsemen, the white horsemen. There's a shakening. These this horsemen, are, uh, God allowed them to cause war, cause a pandemic. Why? To shake the nation so that the sons of glory will rise up. The sons of glory will rise up. Okay? And when you are walking in the glory or the presence, you are entering a Goshen. You know what's, your, what's a Goshen? You are in the place of protection. Wherever you are, you are protected from the, from the shakening. Okay? You are in the glory realm. Okay? So, let me just recap through. I have sent your to to the to the what you call that the WhatsApp uh, the link for the YouTube. Let's say you did not saw the lesson one or the lesson two, you can ask me for the link and listen to the lesson one. There, what I'm doing now is summarize a quick one. But you want the if you have missed the lesson one, I suggest you go and listen to the lesson one, because I put a lot of scripture for faith, scriptures for anointing, and scriptures for presence. Okay, now I'm going to run to rush through what I talked about lesson one, lesson two, and what I'm going to talk about today. So in lesson one, I talked about Jesus came to this world to teach us repentance. Matthew 4, 17, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus always demonstrate the kingdom of God or kingdom of heaven now. He healed the sick. Okay? Healed the sick, cast out demons. And he, when he, one time he, he healed the sick, he told the woman with the issue of blood, your faith 
heals you. Not my faith, but your faith heals you. The woman got no Holy Spirit and he tells the woman, your faith heals you. So one of the ways to bring heaven on earth is faith. Faith means the word, the word. So Matthew chapter, Mark chapter 4, Jesus explained about the secret of the kingdom. Mark chapter 4, he talked about a parable, how the sowing of the word, sowing of the seed in four kinds of soil. So he explained how the kingdom of heaven work, how the kingdom of heaven operates through the sowing of the seed into four kinds of soil. Okay, so I basically explain how to operate by faith alone. But you operate by faith alone, you will bring heaven on earth, but it can be very slow, can be very slow. Okay, you want to be faster, you need not only the word, you need the word and the spirit. And you want to be faster somehow, word, spirit and intimacy. That means the presence. Presence is intimacy, word and spirit. Three things. Anointing is word and spirit. Okay, in lesson one, I explained to you what's the difference anointing and the presence. Prophet Elisha, his anointing is double of Elijah, but he died of sickness. He died of sickness. He performed many miracles. He healed people. He raised the dead, but he died of sickness. Anointing do not protect. Do not protect. It's the presence. When Moses was walking, talking to God face to face, he was in the presence. The word face, it, the, the, the strong Hebrew meaning, uh, concordance, uh, means panim. Face to face means faith, presence. Panim to panim. Panim means presence. Presence to presence. Okay, so God, uh, Moses complained to God I, in Numbers chapter 11, I cannot cope with these people. Uh, these people, uh, how many millions of people, I cannot cope with them. Then God says, you bring your 70 elders come, I'll take some of the spirit upon you and put it on them. The next day when Moses brought the 70 elders, God appeared to Moses face to face. That means presence to presence. And he literally took, he took the spirit from Moses and put it on the 70 elders. Okay, that, that, that must be Jesus. That must be Jesus. Okay, he took the spirit from Moses and put it on the 70 elders and the 70 elders start to prophesy. So the anointing the, is the substance of the Holy Spirit. It is irrevocable. Even Elisha died of sickness. His bones still carried the anointing. Okay, it's, once you operate in the anointing, it's, uh, even though you backslide, the anointing can come back very fast. Right? The anointing can come back very fast because it's irrevocable. It's still there. It's still there. Okay? You will practice the, the, the prayer, prophetic intercession, which, which I taught you last week. You pray in tongue for one hour, the anointing will come. Rivers of living water will come. The, you are stirring up the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And you felt the, the, the substance of the Holy Spirit like a wind around you. And somebody touched your clothing huh, with favor. And, and the person believed you are anointed man or woman of God. He touched your clothing from the back. His faith will make a demand upon the anointing. And you will feel the power leaving your body, your, 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 your external. You felt something leave you. If somebody touched you with faith, that's the anointing. It works. Okay, I've, you, if, but this anointing is not praying in tongues for 5 minutes, 10 minutes. You need to pray longer than that, okay? at least an hour. Okay? That is the anointing. Okay. So what is the presence? Presence is the manifested presence of Jesus. Manifested presence of Jesus. Your spirit man can sense that there's a difference. When you sense the anointing, it's like a wind, a, the substance of the Holy Spirit is like power, like rivers of living water around you. When you sense it, don't ignore. You thank the Holy Spirit. Thank Him. You can sense by your spirit, not by your soul, not by your skin, not by your physical senses. It's by your spirit. Your spirit has got senses. That's why I, I taught you all about the spirit. And, and then the presence is the person of Jesus. It's different. Your, your sensing of the presence of Jesus is different from the sensing of the Holy Spirit. Okay? When the presence of Jesus comes, do not ignore. You talk to Jesus. Okay? 
you talk to him, you can feel him. And the presence will follow you the whole day. Okay? But to get into that stage, you must minister to the Lord, which I'm going to teach today. Minister to the Lord is the third kind of prayer. Okay? It will bring you to the presence. Minister to the Lord means intimacy. So I taught you all about this, this drawing, your, your soul and your spirit. Okay? Your spirit has got communion and intuition. And your mind has got memories, intellect, and your imaginations. Okay? When you are in the spirit, you want to be hosting the presence, you must be in the spirit. You cannot be in the flesh. You cannot be in the flesh. Because our flesh is supposed to be dead. We are supposed to be crucified with Jesus. Okay? And we are supposed to resurrect with Jesus in our spirit man. Born again, new creation in our spirit our, our, our body, our soul is not born again. Our body and our soul is not born again. Our soul needs to renew our mind with the truth. That's why I teach you all using the scriptures to explain. Lesson 2, I explain to you soul and spirit. The word divide the soul and the spirit. You know clearly now what is the soul and what is the spirit. Okay. So Romans chapter 8 verse 5 explain what do you mean by in the spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 5. Okay, you can listen to lesson 2. Romans uh, chapter 8 verse 5 says that when you are in the spirit, your mind is full of the things of the spirit. So that means your, 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 your thoughts, your imagination, your intellect, you are yielding to the spirit. And when your imagination is yielded to the spirit, suddenly you see a vision. You see a vision, and then that is, and then you see a, a spontaneous images. Okay, you know you didn't think of the vision or the picture, but it just come. So you know it's a vision from God. And of course, you must test the spirit whether is it uh, uh, encouraging, edifying, comforting, and most of all, is it redemptive? Is the image you see is it redemptive? That means based on the finished work of God. So a, a, a thought can come into your thoughts in your mind when you are in the spirit. And that is a rhema word. When you do what you see the father do, when you say what you hear the father say in your thoughts, spontaneous thoughts, miracles will happen. Just like Jesus. Okay, Jesus said he cannot do anything except what he see the father do or he say what he hear the father say. Okay, he can otherwise he cannot do anything. So we are just like Jesus. We That is... That is part of prophetic intercession. That's why we learn, we want to pray like that. Pray in the spirit until we receive a vision or a, or a rhema. And sometimes your intellect, when you give your intellect to the spirit, suddenly you get a revelation. Suddenly you understand. Suddenly you perceive in the spirit. Suddenly you understand your intellect. Okay, You are no more operating from your intellect. You are operating in the spirit and suddenly... A revelation enter your, your mind, enter your intellect, and suddenly you understand very clearly. Okay? Revelation will change your life. Not, not logos. Not logos. If I say, say something to you out of out from the spirit of revelation, your life will be changed. Okay. Hey, I forgot to op have an opening prayer. I'm so sorry. I'm too I'm too excited to, to teach. Okay, uh, let's, let's, let's have an opening prayer. Father God, we just thank you and praise you for this opportunity to come, come to your throne of grace by, your, by the blood of the Lamb, to learn from your spirit of wisdom and revelation. I ask that your spirit of revelation and wisdom, uh, uh, your, your spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus to fill all these people, all these ch your children, teach them, open the eyes of their understanding so that they may know the hope of their calling. And, 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 the, and their inha glorious inheritance of the saints in them. Oh, Father God, open the eyes of their understanding. Give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus, especially the finished work of Jesus, especially the finished work of Jesus. Come and lead us, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Come, Lord Jesus, manifest your presence even now through the Zoom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so... Uh, So you want to be taught by the spirit of revelation, right? 
you must surrender your intellect. You not suppress your intellect. Wrong. Suppressing your intellect is wrong. Your in, you have been taught by the education system uh, to operate from the intellect since you're young. I mean, we need our intellect. But now, as you pray in the spirit, you are not suppressing your intellect. You are yielding your intellect to the spirit so that your spirit to, so that the, your spirit can 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 uh, so that you can understand what the spirit is saying so that you can understand what the spirit is saying because the holy spirit will bear witness to your spirit okay roman 8:16 the holy spirit will bear witness to your spirit but your mind will make your make you understand your mind will make you understand Okay, the eyes, the, the Bible talks about eyes of your understanding, Ephesians chapter 1. Eyes of your understanding is your mind. Romans 8 5. Okay, surrender. Your mind are full of the things of the Spirit. Your mind are the full of things of the Spirit. Okay, that means you yield your, your mind to the Holy Spirit who dwells in your spirit. And lesson two, we, we, we practice praying intuitively from our intuition. Intuition, you see the word intuition in your spirit. You practice praying intuitively, intuitively from our spirit while you're yielding your mind, you're watching with your imagination, watching, watch and pray. Jesus said, watch and pray, not watch your physical eyes. Watch with the eyes of your understanding. Watch with the eyes of your understanding. Watch with your imagination. You yield your imagination, your intellect, your thoughts to the Holy Spirit to reveal what He wants to tell you when you're praying in tongue, intuitively. Okay? So, if, if you are joining my prayer group, I will emphasize this again and again. Okay? Lesson 2, we also talk about soaking, silent soaking prayer. Silent soaking prayer. This is the key to hear his voice super clearly. Why? When you love the Lord with all your mind, that means you release adoration to his presence inside you. Not to the second heaven, third heaven, but to his presence inside you. Inside you, you know. Some people hey, pray to where? No, God is inside you. You are the temple of God. You are the temple of God. Jesus lives inside you. You connect to Him. How? By love. You just release adoration from your mind, affection from your soul, that means your emotion, and desire from your heart. Desire, like a deer panted for water. Okay? To the presence of Jesus inside you. That's how you connect. That's how you connect to His presence. Okay, not five minutes, huh? It's longer than five minutes. Okay. And then something will happen to you. Then you can you there will be a time huh, when you do that, huh? You can hear his voice clearly. Why? Why? Because your mind and your your mind huh, is totally loving Jesus. There's no more distraction in your mind. You're focusing your mind. To love Jesus, you're yielding your 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 intellect, your 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 imagination and your thoughts to, to Him, and you are also releasing love from your mind. So your mind is like locked, connected to the presence of Jesus. Okay. I find that when I practice, when I pray in tongues, uh, I I can also love Him with all my heart, soul, and mind. And now I'm talking to you now, uh, or I'm reminded, okay, I must love him with all my heart, so my I'm, I'm doing that now, you know. I'm loving him with all my heart. This command is 24 hours. It's not a occasionally that you love the Lord with all your heart, so much. It's 24 hours. Okay? It's 24 hours. And something will happen to your hormonal system when you love the Lord, when you believe that he loves you and you love him back with all your heart, so and might. Something will happen to your hormonal system. You will feel the oxytocin. Okay, scientists call it a love hormone flowing in your body. This love hormone will, will, will dissolve all the stress hormone. Okay, if, let's say you feel stressed, you feel uh, anxious, you always get anxious. Type. All this will disappear because of the oxytocin hormone. 
Why? Why? Why, why do I want to say this? Because we are created in such a way that we must love God. We must believe that He loves you and you must love Him back. When you do that, something in you becomes stable. There will be peace. There will be not only spiritually, but physically. Your hormones also will be peace. We are designed like that. We are created like that. Okay? When you practice this, uh, something will happen to your body. Your immune system starts to become strong again. Because a person who is in love, do you remember when you're Pak Thor? You're, you're, when you're Pak Thor, you always think about your boyfriend or your girlfriend day and night. Uh, you're like in heaven. No? You feel like in heaven. That means your, your mind always you know, come in images of your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Okay? And then your heart is always desiring him. Uh, when What time? Uh, oh, I haven't five o'clock, I haven't six o'clock. I want to meet him for dinner or her for dinner. So your heart is desiring him. And, and when you are in that stage of love, uh, your, your immune system is the strongest. And when you're so stressed in the work, no, you don't feel stressed. So much assignment given to you, but you're in heaven because you're in love. You understand? Uh? So, uh, soaking prayer is very important. Okay, today I'm going to talk about three ways of ministering to the Lord. I think last week I actually gave you an introduction of three ways of how to minister to the Lord. This ministering to the Lord is the key to the glory realm or the presence. Okay? Ministering to the Lord means intimacy, word and spirit. Intimacy, word and spirit. And then I also show you the seven pillars, seven pillars of faith. Okay. And I, I, I also show you this scripture. The children of Israel was tested, was, was tested for in the wilderness. Okay, you look at this scripture. They were uh Hebrew 3. I think I didn't sh I, I don't have the full scripture. There's there's a there's a more scripture. Hebrew 3, if you look before that, it's talking about a test in the wilderness. Okay. And they, they, they fear the test, okay? They, because of unbelief, unbelief. So, and Jesus was tested, same test. Satan asked Jesus uh, twice, okay? Two tests, he was asked, if you are the son of God, you are the son of God, you turn the stone into bread. If you are the son of God, you jump down. The scripture says the, the, the angels will carry you. Two times, Jesus was tested whether he believed he is the son of God. Whether he's he's is protected by the by God, whether he's he'll be provided for by God. Okay. So in in the in 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 our situation now, everyone will be tested until you pass this test. Then you enter your promised land, your destiny and your calling. Okay, just like Jesus. Jesus passed the test, he entered his calling and destiny. The seven pillars of faith is based on this. Faith in God's love for you as the son of God, as the daughter of God. Okay, seven pillars of faith in God's love for you. Okay, you'll be, we will be tested. After 40 days, you pass the test. Okay, finish. You enter your promised land. You walk in the presence. Okay. Okay, so, so in, in my example of, uh, I got so many examples because I, I, I'm operating in the healing and deliverance ministry for so many years. One of the most exciting examples I had is uh, I was in the children's home in, uh, in this uh, JB. I, I always, I, I'm a doer of every word from Jesus. Jesus said, uh, you must, uh, uh, in Matthew 25, uh, you must do good works, okay? As though you're doing unto him. You must visit those in, in, in prison, visit the sick, and, and, uh, and uh, 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 do charity work. In Matthew 25, uh, he talked about the uh, three, three parable, the judgment of the goat and the sheep. He said, the, the goats are those who don't do charity work. We don't go and visit people in hospitals, 
and and all that. So I'm a doer of everything and that Jesus teach out. So every month, every every once, every two months or or, or one month, I will go and visit uh, the uh, some charity home. Okay, I'm a doer of every word that Jesus said. Okay, I'm, I'm like that because I I obey the word. Okay, so I I, I always go to JB orphanage, uh, the the home uh, to to minister to the children here there and pray for them. And 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 many years ago in two zero one four there was three children caught up to heaven. Okay. They was when we pray for them, we they got slain and then we then they cannot move on the floor for for, for about 20 minutes. And uh our sister June was there, right? Or no? Yeah, sister, yes, yeah, she saw everything. And uh the, the rest of the children thought they are playing the fool. Okay, so they tried to wake the three children up, but it cannot be woken up. After 20 minutes woke up, then they said. Oh, I was in heaven. Three of them, okay. See, I was in heaven, and then uh, two of them, uh, an Indian boy and an Indian girl, they are brother and sister. Uh, okay, they, uh, they say, uh, they, they they saw Jesus face to face, and they, they want to stay. They 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 want to stay in heaven, okay. But Jesus tell the the boy, uh, Indian boy, cannot cannot. You have to go back. Then the boy said, uh, actually, I miss my mother. My mother never come and visit me. You see, the boy's mother is an unwed mother. She, she has many boyfriends. And then when she gets pregnant, the baby, uh, she put it in the home. Okay. So, so this boy said, I miss my mother. He never come and, she never come and see me. So, so the boy tell Jesus, you know what happened? Jesus said, your mother will come and fetch you home. Your mother will come and fetch you home. In one week's time, and true enough, one week later, I called the pastor. The boy told told everybody like I was I was I take video I took the the video. Uh. Then after one week, I called the pastor. What happened? Uh? The, the the mother got come and fetch the boy home or not? Yeah, the boy the mother brought a, a new boyfriend. I think this boyfriend must be a serious one, not a play play one. Brought this boy and the and the sister back home, and after that they never come back. After that, uh, until today, uh, they never go back to the home again. Okay. Jesus gave the mother a, a, a serious boyfriend. Okay. Uh, maybe a godly boyfriend uh, to take care of them. And the and the and the brother and the sister never come back to the home anymore. Okay. I always when I before I go and pray for somebody, I always pray in tongues one hour. Last time uh, I don't know how to practice the presence. Not yet. That time I have not yet. Okay. So when you practice the in the praying the spirit, uh, you many things will happen to you. Supernatural things will happen. A few months ago, I prayed for somebody with blind eyes and get healed. I was so shocked. When the when the power of the Holy Spirit move, uh, you can feel the, the the anointing just flow out from your hands, you know. It's so wonderful. Okay, it's so uh, uh, uh amazing, you know. And, and and it's it's so wonderful to work hand in hand with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I, I just hope you all can uh, listen and and uh, practice. Uh, I want to tell you something. One last thing before I start the lesson. Okay, in the book of Numbers, uh, okay, uh, no, sorry, book of Leviticus, Leviticus. God before God promote uh, this Aaron into high priest. God told him you must sacrifice one bull every day for seven days. One bull uh, for seven days. Okay. The book of Leviticus uh, is a shadow for us new covenant. Last time I don't know, I read the book of Leviticus. So boring. Everything uh, is not applicable to, to us for uh, new covenant, right? So boring, right? But later I realized uh, everything uh, taught there uh, is a shadow for something, you know. And I apply it. Uh, it works, you know. Aaron was asked to sacrifice one bull every day for seven days. If you uh, practice praying tongue one hour, minister to the Lord one hour, two hours, uh, for seven days, uh, something will happen to your spirit man. Something will happen to you. You will go into, a, you'll be promoted to another level, a faith to faith, anointing to anointing, not, not faith to faith. You'll be anointing to another level anointing. The anointing on you will be so tangible. 
people can sense the anointing on you from far. Okay? Or glory to glory. Okay? After seven days. One hour pray in tongue, one hour minister to the Lord. Intimacy. It's different. Praying tongue is, is, is word and spirit. It's different. Ministering to, Lord, ministering to the Lord is intimacy, word and spirit. It's different. So one hour each. Guarantee you after seven days, your spiritual senses become so alive. You're so different. Your ability to hear from God, another level. Guarantee you. Okay? And you start to see miracles, signs and wonders. Okay? Okay, I'm going to open another PowerPoint. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I said, so if you watch all my lessons, uh, I always give you a lot of PowerPoint, a lot of slides, a lot of scriptures. Because it's, if I just talk like that, uh, after that you forget one. I always show you scriptures. Okay, it's the word of God, not me. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so ministering to the Lord is is found in the Old Testament and also the New Testament. What is ministering to the Lord? Give thanks, give praise. Okay. So last week I give you an example. I can take any problems, huh? I turn it into praise. If I know the seven pillars, I can praise God with even with problems. Because it's finished. Because I really believe it is finished. Even all your all the souls of your family, huh? those who are not Christian, huh? they are already purchased with the blood of Jesus. They belong to Jesus. Colossians 1 20. Colossians 1 20. All things are put all things are, are, are purchased or not, not purchased. Let me show you Colossians 1 20. Everything is belonging to Jesus already. Everything, okay, all things are, 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 are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Even your your people, your family members who are not saved. So you if you dare to to pray like that, huh? Oh, I thank you in advance. My family shall be saved. My, me and my household. Your word, you are faithful. Father God, you are so faithful. You are so faithful to your word. I, I thank you in advance. Me and my household, my, my husband, my sister, my brother, my parents, every one of them shall be saved because of, of your faithfulness, because of your goodness. I thank you. Something will happen. Maybe your mother at night will, will have a dream and then uh, Jesus appeared to, to her, you know, just like, uh, just like our friend here, June. Uh, 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 this this other June, not 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 that June you. Yeah, uh, Jesus appeared to her mother. Okay, yeah, you that you there to believe it's done. Devil has de been defeated. The problem is our mind. Okay, that's why right. that's why right. when you are when I pray this way, I'm actually tearing away blockages in my mind. Any and. Anything that is contradicting, contradicting the seven pillars. The whole Bible is talking about seven pillars only. Nothing else. If you if you discover the eight pillar, come and teach me. I want to learn. I only found seven pillars of faith in God's love in the whole Bible. Okay? All, all you need to do is take these seven pillars and, and, and speak it back to God. Thank God. As you thank and you praise, you are removing the stronghold, the unbelief in our mind. The fight is in our mind. All things has been reconciled to Jesus already. All things. Everything is, you know. Can, can you see the words, Colossians 120? Can you see not? Cannot. And by him to reconcile all things to himself, by, by him, whether things on earth or things... Uh, in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. All things are reconciled to him. That's, and, 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 and Jesus has give us, given us authority over all things. Authority over all things. Okay. 
So our prayer should be apostolic. Apostolic. Not, not old covenant. Not crying and begging. No. Apostolic. Because it's done. It's finished. It's, so you take the seven pillars and you praise God. It's, I tell you, when I was leading a prayer group uh, in the Worldwide House of Prayer, it was so happy when we don't we don't back we we, just, we are just dancing away in the spirit we we celebrate victory before we see victory like that one it is finished so you 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 celebrate and with joy the more you celebrate with joy the more you're releasing faith the more you celebrate with joy that means you really believe that it is finished the, okay it is finished. If you really believe that, you'll be so joyful. How come you're not so joyful? You're, you're uh, you know, worried and what? It's a, it's a, it's not. We are supposed to rule by, rule by, uh, by the word, not by. Oh, I don't feel like celebrating. I don't feel happy. I don't feel. No, we are supposed to believe the word. It is finished, and then because of that, we celebrate. That's it. Men shall not eat uh, 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 led by uh, uh, we are supposed to be led by the word. That's it. Okay. We are supposed to be led by every word from the mouth of God. Okay. We don't uh, we are not led by feelings or what. Okay. So let me go back to the uh, okay. Wow, nine o'clock already. So so ministering to to him with the word. One of the way of is read the Bible, talk to Jesus. Jesus, I thank you. Uh, this word, uh, whatever I buy, you buy, I buy on earth shall be bound in heaven. I thank you. You read the word and you talk back to him. You thank him. That is intimacy. You read, 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 read. Oh, Jesus, you heal the blind. Awesome. You're so, that means I can heal the blind also. You, you read and you talk. That, that means there's a two-way communication. When there's a two-way communication, that is intimacy. If you read Bible, just read like that. It's not a two way, it's a one way. One way is there's no intimacy. Okay, remember intimacy, word and word and spirit. And number two, I always dance in the spirit. I always organize a, a prophetic worship. We are all dancing in the spirit. My I, I'm using when I, I, I got a golden flag. Huh? Uh, next time in the prayer meeting, maybe I'll show you. Okay, I, I, I got all, if you join my YouTube channel, you can see some of the worship group. Uh, we, we have big group, 25 people. Last last few days ago, Feast of Tabernacle, we have 35 people dancing in Fort Canning Hill. Okay, 35 people. I'm one of the organizer. Okay, flex. Okay, we dance in the spirit. My spirit will sense the Holy Spirit where he's moving and I move my hands. I move my hands as I sense where the spirit is leading me, okay, I'm exercising my spirit, spiritual senses. Walking in the spirit means you walk, you are led by the, your spiritual senses. And you're, you're yielding your, your intellect, your, your imagination and thoughts to give you understanding. Okay, your mind is a slave to your spirit. You operate from the spiritual senses. Your spiritual senses can see through the eyes of Jesus. Can can sense him, can hear him, very clearly. If you pray, the the, the, the you, you practice like this. Uh, always operate from the spirit, not from your intellect, not from your soul. Your spiritual senses will get sharper and sharper. Okay, we are going to practice this in our prayer group. Okay. Okay, so you, you read the PowerPoint. The details are are, are are there. Okay, I think we will practice. Uh, uh, you need practice, lah. Okay, it's not head knowledge. Uh, like I said, it's not head knowledge. Okay. And then uh, there is seven principles of Bible interpretation. Seven principles. You see this slide here, ministering to the Lord. The word. There are seven. So if you don't have the uh, seven principles, uh, those who attend Bible school, they will know these seven principles. Okay. If you do not know, then you read. Eh, I don't understand. Eh, don't make sense. Eh, uh, then. A bit, a bit hard lah. Okay, so if you one of these days, I'm going to teach on this topic, 
how to interpret the Bible uh, using these seven principles. Seven principles of Bible interpretation. You all can see the slide, right? Can I? Okay. Okay. Uh, Oops, sorry. Oops, 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 oops. Oops, okay. Where am I now? Where am I now? Okay, I think we will start our... Okay. Okay, seven pillars of faith. Okay. So you understand, huh? seven pillars of faith is everything is about fight of faith. Fight of faith. Everything is finished by Jesus. So now we, we talk about when you when you seek him with faith, okay, you will find him. Okay, not complain, huh? You cannot complain, you cannot murmur, but seek him with faith. Okay. Okay, pillar number one, Exodus 34, verse 6. Okay, God say uh, to Moses, I am merciful, I am gracious, I am slow to anger, I am abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Another version, uh, there's a word, extra word, goodness and truth. Okay, long suffering. Okay, so you can add, add another words. God is very generous. If you believe that God is generous, and then always when you see when you talk to Him, uh, you minister to God at the time, uh, you always say, "Hey, Father God, you are so generous. I'm so I'm so happy that I know you, because you are a generous God. You know, you know what happened to you? You will encounter His generosity in your life. Okay, supernatural things will happen, and you will encounter His generosity. If you believe that God is faithful to it's, you always praise God that you are faithful. God, you are faithful. You are prayer answering God. You always hear my prayer. You, are, you always answer my prayer before beyond what I can ask or imagine. Because you are a good father. You always talk like that. Huh? Faithfulness, faithfulness. Huh? You will encounter a lot of his faithfulness. That's how it works. Faith. You must first believe first. If you believe that God is very generous, you always praise God. God, you are very lavish, you know. I, I, I never come across a, a God that's so lavish. You always bless me and bless me on. I, I'm so happy to know you. You always talk like that. Nah. You encounter him like that. It's according to your faith. You know what I mean? Nah? So if you, this pillar number one, okay, how I, how I use, I apply it. I can take this word mercy. Yeah? I can, I can, Say a lot of things. Father God, I thank you for being so merciful. Your mercy is new every morning. You always forgive and forgive because you are my father. You always forgive me and, and give me second chance, third chance. You're a good father. Thank you. So you can, you don't, you don't memorize the scripture. You take the word, uh, understand the word in your heart and you expand it. You, 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 you paraphrase it to yourself. To your situation, you extrapolate. Extrapolate means, means it's like expanding. Lah. Okay? The word merciful means uh, what what uh, uh, he take away your punishment. Okay? He he uh, he's always forgiving. Okay? So you ex extrapolate the word mercy. Grace, gracious or grace is what what you mean? A merited favor. He give you things, good things that you don't deserve. Father God, thank you. You always give me good things that I don't deserve. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Abba, Father. Always give me good things. So full of grace. So rich in grace. So abounding in grace. That's how you pray. You pray from your heart. You don't have to talk so much. You expand the word. And sometimes you, you say already, you so love him with all your heart, soul, and mind because of his grace. 
of His grace upon our life. You just love Him with all your heart, soul, and mind. Just soak. Just thank Him. Okay? You're slow to anger. Abba. So, see, pillar number one, uh, you can talk uh, quite a lot, right? You can, you can right? <laughs> so, you always ex, ex, uh, practice, practice, practice. Uh, I guarantee you, when you pray one day, when you pray, uh, it's different, okay? When you pray, it will be different, so different. People, the presence of God will come. The presence of God will come. Because you're talking to Him with faith. It's about faith. God is a rewarder of people who come to Him in faith. Okay? Pillar number one. You can talk and talk so much things already. God, you're so generous. Always giving me. I thank you. Last time, I remember one time you, give, you blessed me with so much finances. Wow. I will never forget. So you, you bring up the past. Thank you. You always bring back the good things that he showed to you and thank him again and again. And, and, and some, it will happen one more time to you. Whatever you thank him and, and show your gratitude, uh, it will happen to you again. Okay? Okay. Pillar number two. Okay? You see, you see the word, uh, can you read together? Leviticus chapter 9, verse 22. This, this is very important. This verse is very important. Like I say, like I say, uh, uh, Leviticus, the book of Leviticus is a shadow of, of, uh, it's a shadow of, of our, uh, of new covenant. Okay. Uh, then Aaron lifted his hand towards the people, blessed them, and came down from offering the sin offering, burnt offering, peace offering, and, and, and Moses, Aaron, went into the tabernacle of meeting and came out and blessed the people. And then the glory of the Lord appeared to all the people. You notice that? Sin offering, burnt offering, and peace offering. Then the glory come. Okay. So you want to enter the presence. Huh? You have to give sin offering, burnt offering, and peace offering. What is that? Jesus is our sin offering. Jesus is our burnt offering. Jesus is our peace offering. Okay? When you give thanks, Father God, I thank you that Jesus is my sin offering. He is my sin offering. He was bruised for my iniquity. Isaiah 53 verse 5. He was bruised for my iniquity. He was wounded, pierced in his hands and his feet. He was pierced. He was wounded for my transgression. My transgression. He paid for my sin. He's a sin offering of the whole world. 1 John 2, 2. But you don't need to quote the verses. I thank you, Jesus, my sin offering. So when you say, you give thanks, you are actually giving the sin offering. Jesus is my burnt offering. Jesus cried out on the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus, because he was carrying my sin, and because of that, he was forsaken. He was forsaken. Jesus said, I was, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus is my burnt offering. He was forsaken so that I can be accepted. Jesus was forsaken so that you can be accepted as a son, a daughter of God. Jesus was separated from God, forsaken, so that you and me can be accepted as sons and daughters of God. Jesus is my burnt offering. Jesus is my peace offering. The just Isaiah 53, Isaiah 53 says, the chastisements for my peace. Peace means shalom. Shalom means healing. Healing to the soul and healing to the body. The chastisements for my peace came, came upon him. The chastisements for my peace, for my healing, for my shalom fell upon Jesus. I thank you that Jesus is my peace offering. I thank you. When you give thanks, huh? Like that, uh, the presence of God will come. The presence of God will come. Okay? Pillar number two is when you when you offer up pill, this, 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 this is talking about the finished work of Jesus. When you give thanks to the finished work of Jesus, uh, you know what happened? The presence will come. Demons will scramble. The, the, the ground will shake. The spiritual realm, uh, in the spiritual realm, uh, there is an earthquake. Demons scattered everywhere. Okay? 
when you are giving thanks to the sin of, for what, what Jesus done for you, okay, you are pleading the blood of Jesus. You are pleading the blood of Jesus. You enter the holy of holy through the blood of Jesus. You, the holy of holy comes. When you give thanks for what Jesus did for you. Jesus, you bought my curse. You took away all my curses and gave me the blessing of Abraham. Galatians 3, 13, 14. You bore my sicknesses and infirmity, Jesus. Thank you. When you, when you say like that, huh? when you talk like that, huh? you are ministering to the Lord with the pillar number two and you are releasing the, the, uh, the blood of Jesus. You understand? Huh? That's how you release the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus overcome. Okay, Revelation 12, 11, we overcome Satan by the, by the blood of the Lamb. How you overcome by the blood of the Lamb? When you give thanks in praise, high praises, especially for the finished work of Jesus, okay, you're offering sin offering, burn offering. When you're doing that, you're offering sin offering, burn offering, and peace offering, and the presence will come. Okay? The glory will come. Okay? How do you know it's a glory? How, how do you know? Nothing can come, come near the blood of Jesus. When you talk about the finished work of Jesus, uh, wow, that's the most... See, the whole Bible, uh, there are so many scriptures. What is the most powerful scripture? What is the most powerful scripture? It is the finished work of Jesus. We call it that, that the atonement scriptures. Atonement scriptures. Okay? I'll give, later on, there's a list of all the atonement scriptures. He become poor so that he become rich. Second Corinthians 8, 9. Galatians 3, 13, 14. He, he, he become a curse so that you can be blessed. All the, these are the atonement scriptures. These are the most powerful word in the whole Bible. Okay? If you, I'm not asking to memorize. I, do, I myself didn't memorize, no? But I can tell you, Galatians 3, 13, 14 is talking about Jesus took away all my curses and give me the blessing of Abraham. I'm not, I'm not quoting from scripture. I'm not memorizing word by word. I'm not. But I, I, I know Galatians 3, 13, 14 is talking about Jesus took my curse. I, I can tell it to God any way I want. Any way I want. From my heart. Spontaneously. Spontaneously. As the Spirit led, I don't memorize. Okay? I already know the, the meaning in my heart. And I just want to thank Him I want, to, I want to give him the sin offering, peace offering, burn offering, okay, from, from my heart, with gratitude, with gratitude, okay. So uh, all these are in the slide, uh, you, you, you see the slide, all these are in your slide already, okay. So all the 1 John 2, 2, Jesus is a propitiation for the sins of the world, it's all in the slide. So I, 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 don't, I don't want to uh, go through all that. It's, you understand already. Okay? You, now you understand. Atonement scriptures. Atonement. Pillar number two is talking about the finished work of Jesus. The finished work of Jesus is the most important scripture in the whole Bible. When you, you, and you give thanks, you give praise using the scripture. There's an earthquake, spiritual earthquake. Demons run. Scattered. The glory comes. Because you're offering peace offering, burnt offering, and the sin offering. Okay? Just like Aaron. Okay? And you enter the Holy of Holies through the blood of the Lamb. Okay? So, this summary is inside your PowerPoint. All this, all this, uh, no need to memorize. <laughs> if you can memorize, uh, maybe, maybe one... One year later, then you or six months later, then you know how to minister to the Lord. No need to take so long. That's why I want you to uh, do homework, lah. You know, you practice, uh, You write, okay. You write of uh, one time, two time. After the third time, you write, uh, You no need to write already. You can be like me, like that. Ask if I ask you to pray, uh, You can pray using the pillar already. No need to to see you already. So this 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 slide I think is very important for you. You go and find this slide, uh, and maybe uh, copy it out or go and read the actual scripture. Uh, what I wrote here is, for example, okay, Second uh, Corinthians chapter eight verse nine. The last the last one, uh, 2 Second 
8, 9, Jesus became poor so that through his poverty, we become rich financially to be able to be empowered by the finance to do good works. Second Corinthians 8, 9. This is my own words. This is my own words. Okay? I want you to read the original scripture. Second Corinthians 8, 9. Okay? It talks about Jesus, although he was rich, but he became poor so that through his poverty, we can become rich. Okay? And you read the verses below, it's talking about financial richness. It's not talking about spiritual richness. Okay? You read the context, huh? it's talking about finance. He took away your poverty okay, by becoming poor. Jesus became poor so that he took away our poverty, poverty, divine exchange. So I hope you can read the original scripture. Don't, don't, what I wrote here is just my own interpretation. You must read the original scripture, okay? This scripture is the most touching one. Jesus was forsaken. That means how much he loved us, you know. God rather himself be forsaken than to see us forsaken. God loved us, loved the world so much, loved every sinner so much. Okay. This this scripture I think is the most I, I, I will every day I will say one time, I will thank Jesus one time. Thank you. That you you cry out Eli, Eli Lava Sabashtani. Thank you that you 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 rather be forsaken. You rather be forsaken than to see us forsaken. Thank you that you are forsaken so that I can be accepted. I can be accepted because you were forsaken. I want, this is the most powerful scripture in the whole Bible. How God rather himself be forsaken. How much he loved us, you know. So deep and his love cannot be measured. That's why his love cannot be measured. It's unmeasurable. How much he loved us is so unmeasurable. This verse, this verse. So, so the scriptures are here. You, instead, I just saw the, the summary. Huh? You actually the summary is you can the PowerPoint has all the scripture already. So you just go to the PowerPoint, all the scripture are there, and then you read it out, read out maybe three times. Okay. The demons, this scripture said the devil is defeated, disarm. You see the word here, disarm? Disarm. Yeah. Disarm. Satan got no power against us. He's defeated. But why is he so strong? Why is he doing all the bad things? Why? Because unbelief. Unbelief. It's not the devil. It's not God the one to save us, heal us, deliver us. It is our unbelief. That's why the seven pillars of faith. Seven pillars. You, you, know, you know what I mean? It's not the devil. The devil is weak. weak it's it's already. He, he has no power against us. You understand? It's, it's our... One of the pillars is broken. That's why the devil can attack. That's why we have this seven pillar. When you take the seven pillar and you, you, you praise God, uh, you are strengthening the pillar, the seven pillar. You know what I mean? You know what I mean uh? It's only the fight of faith. Faith in his love. The pillars of faith in his love. Okay. We are already delivered from the power of darkness with really. We are already delivered past it's done. That's why you must operate from the spirit. If you operate from the flesh, you are still under the devil. We can, we can still be attacked. That's why I, I, I want I want I want to yeah we, we need to operate in the spirit. Okay. New creation, new creation. Okay, we are new creation in our spirit. We are our spirit is always righteous. Okay. So all the scriptures is there. Okay. Okay. He, this one is talking about finance. This is talking about the rapture. Because the rapture will deliver us from the wrath to come. There, there's, after the seventh seal, there's a seventh trumpet, wrath of God coming upon the whole earth. After the seventh seal, there's going to be, in the book of Revelation, huh, there's going to be a seventh trumpet and a seventh bowl judgment. But you and me, if you believe this verse, if you believe it's by faith, you will be raptured before the wrath of God come upon the whole earth. Okay. 
The rapture is the only way to escape. Galatians 3, 13, 14, took away our curses. Blessings of Abraham. All these are the finished work of Jesus, which is very, very important. So you, you Deuteronomy 28, 1, 14 is talking about the blessings of Abraham. What are the blessings of Abraham? All these are the blessings of Abraham. Okay? All this. All this. So, I hope you all can join my prayer group and practice all this. Okay? Declare, declare the finished work of Jesus. Okay? Pillar number three. Ah, pillar number three is a lot of us uh, don't really believe that God loved us so badly, you know. Like the Songs of Solomon. You know, have you read the Songs of Solomon? God think about you night and day. Uh. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, like I said, there are four levels of relationship. Savior and si sinner and Savior, Master and Servant, Father and Son. Bride and bridegroom. Okay. If you want to be bride and bridegroom, uh, you must believe. You must choose to believe. God think about you day and night, just like the Songs of Solomon. You read the Song of Solomon, uh, that's exactly what Jesus is, is, is doing. He's thinking about you day and night. He's waiting for you to come and, 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 and talk to him. Talk to him. Okay. He, he, he's hungering for your presence. He's hungry for your presence. But are you hungry for his presence? Are you hungry for his presence? Jesus is hungry for your presence, you know. Like the songs of Solomon, the shepherd and the Solomite woman. He's hoping that you come and talk to him. He's hope, hoping one day you will love him with all the heart, soul, and mind. Just like a pato, uh, 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 a couple of pato, uh, you know. Like a bride and a bridegroom always think about each other. He wants us to be like that. The kind of relationship. The highest relationship is bride and bridegroom. The second is father and son. Third is master and servant. God, Jesus wants you to be like a bride and bridegroom. Okay? So, this pillar, if you, if you believe this pillar, practice it in your prayer. Practice, practice it. I always practice it. I always thank Jesus. Thank you. You always think about me. You always love me. I always dance my flag huh, in the spirit. Okay? I always dance with, in the spirit. You know? it's, it's to my to my king, to my bridegroom, you know. You know. Like that. I don't care. I don't care what people say, you know. It's it's intimacy with, with the king. Okay. Yeah. I always thank him for loving me. I always thank him because inside me, uh, there is a blockage. Because of our, maybe our grown up, uh, when we are young time, uh, our parents did not show us that kind of love or we never experienced. But I tell you, love, this is a choice. You choose to be like that or not. For me, I choose to be like that. I choose to believe that he loves me and I love him back. I thank him for loving me so deeply, thinking about me day and night. I always talk to him like that. I thank you for thinking about me day and night. Okay, Longing for my companionship. God is longing for your companionship. Like a father and the prodigal son, the father waiting and waiting at the horizon for the prodigal son to come back. You know, God is like that, waiting and waiting. Okay, Like a bridegroom, waiting for the bride to, 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 to become uh, uh, more, more focused on him. You know, you know, Okay, so uh, okay, let me go back to the next slide. So the scriptures already tell you that he engraved your name in the palm of his hand. Okay, he. Everybody, uh, ever since they were expelled from the Garden of Eden, uh, everybody got more or less, more or less spirit of rejection, and this this is a cause of a lot of problem in the whole world relationship problem and all that. So when you practice, when you believe that he loves you day and night, and then you, you, you praise him and thank him for loving you day and night, you actually heal 
that rejection inside you. And then you'll find that your, your behavior, your relationship start to change. You start to become more secure in your relationship. Okay? You start to become more secure in your relationship. Your way you talk will be all changed. Okay? Because this, this pillar is now very strong. Okay? You really, really believe that he loves you. He really loves you. You, you really believe really. Okay? Your, 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 the way you talk to people will change. Precious, how precious also are your thoughts to me. How great is the sum of them. God think about you continuously. Okay? Continuously, He's thinking about you. Okay? Really. Okay. See, this Songs of Solomon... This banner over you is love. Okay. Now, God. Now, God wants to do mighty miracle with you. Okay, He really wants to. He can't. He can't wait to show off. But a lot of us don't believe. A lot of us don't believe and and try to depend on on our own uh, wisdom, our own intellect. Okay, we 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 we. Uh, we can pray, oh God, help me this, help me that. But deep in your heart, uh, you don't really believe. If you really believe, uh, you will pray like me, like that. God, Father God, this, this problem uh, is a time for you to show off your glory. This problem is nothing to you. It's a chance for you to show off your glory. Come and astonish us. Come and save us. Come and, and show off your glory. You let everybody, the nations, let the, the people be, be astonished by by your goodness and your love and your power, you know. So, this is how we pray, okay. This is, this is how you uh, uh, break that, 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 that unbelief. You, you, you take this pillar, you find that this pillar is not strong, then you come and show off your glory. I truly believe that you want to astonish us, okay. Because the word says that no, no eyes have seen, no ears have heard the things, the good things you will do for those who love you. And you will answer our prayer beyond what we can ask or imagine. You know. So is this clear to everybody? You all believe that? You all believe that God wants to show off his glory? Look like I, I see your faces like skeptical. Huh? <laughs> okay. Re really, you, you I've been praying like this for years, you know. I'm praying like this for years. No, seldom got people pray like me like that. You know. I pray like that one. God, thank you for thinking about me day and night. Because I, my, my, my pillar, this plumber tree is weak, okay. Because I, when I was young, I don't have much acceptance, you know, a lot of rejection. So I strengthen it. I purposely strengthen pillar number three. You can go for all the inner healing deliverance, but if you don't strengthen the pillar number three, the spirit of rejection will come back. You understand? The Lord, you know, outside there are so many inner healing. I also teach inner healing, but I teach it differently. Okay, I teach by the spirit of revelation. I teach them about the seven pillars. Okay. Because if your pillar number three is weak, huh, and then you go for inner healing, father's heart ministry, I teach all that also. I minister all that also for, for, for a few years already. But you don't strengthen this pillar number three, everything come back again. Really? Okay. You focus on the positive. Don't focus on negative. Yes, inner healing is yet, it's a must. You close all the door, but you must focus on the positive. From the, from the day onwards, uh, from that day onwards, after you go through all your inner healing deliverance, focus on the positive, the seven pillars of faith. Because the devil is defeated already. You only fight the fight of faith. Seven, only seven pillars. Strengthen these seven pillars. That's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's let's go to the pillar number five.
a pillar modified is is there's a long list. What 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 do you mean by that? Pillar number five is our identity in Christ. We are the sons of God, right? We are the sons of God. You see, why people got mental breakdown, mental trauma, emotional trauma, depression? Why? Why? Why like that? Because they failed the test. Okay, the devil cannot suka suka give anybody. Uh, even Christian, you know, got depression, you know. You you know not, and then they end up in hospitals, ah, uh, taking medication. Okay, but when I applied my my teaching ah uh, to them ah, uh, in forty five minutes ah, uh, wow, different. They change. I done that in healing room. I I serve in healing room. Okay, I serve in healing room for, uh, uh and and as as well as other places lah. Uh, okay, I applied this teaching. Okay. Almost like forty five minutes later, they change. You know, depression people are like a, like a, like a like a zombie like that, right? After that, they smile and laugh, you know. And they can before that they cannot look at you in the eyes, but after that they can look at you in the eyes you know, and smile confidently. Okay. So I I I hope I hope you all can uh, and learn about this identity in Christ. You can how to protect it from attack of. Spirit of depression, of uh, oppression, suppression, is by your identity in Christ. You must really believe you are the son of God. Just like Jesus said, tell the Satan, ah, okay, Satan tests him. If you are son of God, you turn the stone bread. No, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word from the mouth of God. The word of God said, "I'm a son." I'm. They said, "I don't need to prove it to you. I'm a son of God. I'm a priest. I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a king. I got spiritual authority. I'm clothed with power." Okay, the word of God says I'm a in Revelation one five six I'm a king and a priest, and 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 in Mark sixteen seventeen I I I'm authorized to use the name of Jesus. Okay, I'm one spirit with Jesus. Jesus spirit is inside your spirit. Your spirit is inside Holy Spirit. Two spirit become one. Okay, two, two spirit just like two cup water you mix together, two become one. Really, the devil try to attack our identity. You know, hey, are you sure you know, you're son of God? Are you sure you're loved? You know? Are you sure God anybody love you? No, I'm deeply loved by God. I'm my God is my Father. Things the word of God says. The word of God says I'm a son of God, a daughter of God. That's it. I'm deeply loved by Him. That He will die for me. He rather be forsaken so that I can be accepted. Okay. God's spirit is inside me. God's spirit is hid, hidden in my spirit. I'm. I have a, I have a hedge of protection. If you believe you have a hedge of protection around your possession, ah, uh, and your family, ah, uh, you then you have. If you don't believe, it's gone. It's by faith. Okay. So I given you a a list of scripture regarding your identity in Christ. Okay. The whole Bible. Number one most important scripture is the finished work of Jesus. Number two most important scripture is your identity in Christ, who you are in Christ. That's the second most important. Okay, I'm not asking you to memorize. I I'm asking you to know in your them, in your heart, read them, so that you can pray out, minister to the Lord with thanksgiving and praise using this pillar, identity in Christ. I thank you, Father God. I have authority over snakes and scorpions. I got authority over all the power of enemy. I can command uh, uh, every system and structure of wickedness to 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 be to be destroyed, and they will be destroyed. I thank you that all evil spirits, all 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 all, all uh, principalities, all spiritual wickedness are subjected to my to me, subjected to me in your name. I thank you that my name is written in heaven. So you you can when you pray you add all these things inside, okay? It's to strengthen. It's it's why 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 we need to to pray like that? It's to strengthen our faith, okay? Remind ourselves. If you don't use it, uh, after a while you may forget. I thank you that I'm a I'm a king, and 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 you are the king of king. I thank you that you have given me authority to bind on earth, okay? Whatever I bind, all shall be bound. In heaven, whatever I forbid, you on earth will be forbidden in heaven. Okay, 
I thank you that I can remit sin. You see, you can remit sin, you know. You can remit sin because Jesus already taken away your, all our sins already. That's why he gives you authority. When you come to a place, uh, let's, say, let's say this place is very defiled. There, there, there is an iniquity there. You sense darkness there. You can actually, I, in Jesus, I, I plead the blood of Jesus to remit whatever defilement, whatever defilement in this place, in this home, or in this, this, this home, with the blood of Jesus. I cleanse every iniquity in this home, in Jesus' name. So you can actually cleanse, do home cleansing. I do a lot of home cleansing with this scripture. Because I believe this verse, I can, therefore I can cleanse homes, okay? Iniquity of a homer, defilement, uh, empower evil spirit to come. So Jesus given us authority to remit sins, defilement. We are, right now we are seated in heavenly places at the same time while we are here. In the spiritual realm, you are a flame of fire. You are walking flame of fire. Okay? You are Hebrew 1.7. You are actually, because of the power of the Holy Spirit upon you, when you walk, uh, when the devil see you, he, he sees fire. Okay? If you believe. If you don't believe, it's gone. Because you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, right? Okay, those who are not, not baptized with the Holy Spirit need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. The baptism of the Holy Spirit means the power of the Holy Spirit come upon you to empower you to preach the gospel with signs, with, with, uh, to preach the gospel with, with signs following, to cast out demons and heal the sick. Okay, pillar number six. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. One pillar number one to pillar number five, if you are very strong in pillar one to five, the devil cannot touch you, cannot kill, steal, and destroy. Cannot. Okay? The devil cannot kill, steal, and destroy when you are your, when you are pillar one to five is strong. But pillar number six uh, is different. Okay? The slide is not moving. Pillar number six and pillar number seven are like, are, is different. When you when you take the pillar number six, okay, the names of God, okay, you, Father God, I thank you that you are Jehovah Nisi. You are, you are, you are the, uh, John, you, you are Jehovah Nisi. You are my banner of victory. You are my banner of victory. When you are here, your presence is here. I, I shall have victory over all the power of my enemy. I thank you that, that you are Jehovah Shama. Your presence is in me. Your Christ in me, the hope of glory. Your presence, come and fill this home, this room with your presence. Okay, somebody is uh, texting something. Let me let me. Uh, is there a, is there a chat? Uh, okay, yeah. So the names of God, uh, when you minister to the God using his name, uh, the glory of God will come. The glory of God will come. Okay. His, the names of God is his that means it's his character. Okay. Peter number seven. Uh okay. You see this verse, you are the light of the world, a city that's set on a shield that cannot lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is is uh is good, your body is full of light, but when your eyes is bad, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, take heed that the light in you is not darkness. Okay, so why am I showing you this? The fruit of the spirit is a weapon. When you, the fruit of the spirit is a is it's like a light, okay? It expels darkness. It's a supernatural fruit, okay? Walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the desire of the flesh. For I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgment, okay? Fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long, patience, 
all these all these things. Okay. Now this fruit of the spirit is a supernatural fruit. It will cause you to walk in the God's command. It's not you can you can't develop it. You only can ask. Let's say now I got an anger problem. I will repent. Jesus, I'm sorry. I got an anger problem. I'm I'm sorry. I I I I should control myself. I I'm sorry. You repent, ah. Huh? Then after that, you ask for the spirit of long suffering to fill you, the spirit of of patience to fill you, spirit of love to fill you, and instantly, you are changed. It's instant. You cannot overcome your flesh by your spirit by your flesh. Walk, you see, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of your flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. You cannot overcome your flesh. With your flesh, it's by the spirit. The fruit of the spirit belong to the spirit. You cannot develop. Oh, I must. I must have peace. Fruit of the spirit is joy, love, joy, peace. I must develop joy. I must develop. You cannot develop joy by your own strength, by your own flesh. It's a supernatural joy. You ask spirit of joy, fill me. The spirit of joy is already in your spirit. Your human, your Holy Spirit, and your spirit are one. But it's not inside your soul. It's not in your soul, or may not be enough. So you ask Jesus, fill me with the Spirit of joy, and then fill me. I want. I need it. I I got no joy. I feel very down. Give me the Spirit of joy. Then by faith you receive. Instantly you have the joy. Okay. It's 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 not something you can develop. It's instant. If you if you cannot, you ask again. I, Jesus, I need, really need you. Yearn, you you desire, you you yearn, okay, and you get it. You ask, you you ask, and you ask, and you desire, you will have it. Spirit of joy, spirit of peace. Can you develop spirit, uh, a peace? Can you? Oh, I must peace. I must have peace. Can you? Can you use your flesh or use your 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 strength to have peace? That's the the third fruit of the spirit. Can you? You can. It's you ask Jesus to give. It's the spirit that empower you to overcome your flesh, right? Galatians five sixteen, Ezekiel to uh thirty six twenty seven, God put His spirit in you and caused you to obey. You what you can do is repent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for having anger. Fill me with the spirit of long suffering. Fill me with the spirit of of love. Fill me with the spirit of of whatever that's opposite. Instantly you're changed. It's not. You can't develop the fruit of the spirit. So many, many, many churches has taught. Don't go and argue with your pastor. You're wrong, pastor. You're wrong. Uh, don't. Okay, this is this. If you don't, don't go and teach your 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 your. I mean, you can teach others, but pastors are harder to teach. You know. So you believe what I say, lah. If you got the spirit of joy, you stand in a in a room, ah, and then somebody got depression, walk in, ah. You know what happened to him, lah? Instantly. Your joy, ah, the the light, ah, because you are the light of the world. The the light of joy expel the spirit of depression, and then you feel you feel good, you know, sudden instantly, you know, and then he every time you he you come into a room with him, ah, or her, the the depression left her for a while, and then then you then after that he, the person will like you. You don't know why. You every time he come near you, you you felt peace, the, the restlessness in in the person. Let's say he's a non Christian. Let's say he got. Uh, spiritual oppression, a lot of restlessness and all that, and when he come near you, he feel peace, feel shalom, when and and he feel love, he feel joy. The depression lift instantly. You know, you know what what will happen to you? Your relationship there will be healing. Those people who don't like you last time like start to like you, because they don't know why they come near you, they feel peace, feel joyful, feel uh 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 uh, uh love, you know. Feel accepted, you know. There's something about you because you're the light of the world. The fruit of the spirit, ah, the nine fruit, ah, are actually light, different colors. Okay, if you have all the nine fruits, ah, you are actually radiating light. Literally, you are radiating light. You are the light of the world. Like Jesus, ah, Jesus when he he was in the world, people got demons. Run to him, not to attack him. People who are demon possessed attack other people, but they don't come and attack Jesus. They come to Jesus. When they come to Jesus, the person who is the person can 
the person become normal. He can ask, come and deliver me. You know, he can come. He can. They come to to Jesus not to attack Jesus, but for deliverance. For deliverance, okay. Same thing will happen to you also. When you feel, when you ask Jesus to fill you with the oil on the knife road, okay, you are exactly like Jesus. You radiate love, joy, peace. Okay, Jesus come to see. Jesus said the devil kill, steal and destroy. Kill emotional health, physical health, right? Physical health, emotional health, and steal finances and destroy, destroy what? Destroy relationship. But Jesus come to give abundant life. How? This one, the fruit of the spirit. After you practice this, ah, uh, you walk and take a bus, ah. Uh, you see people don't know why they, they look they look at you, they smile at you. Something about you, lah. You are radiating light. Literally, you are the light of the world. You radiate joy. Have you ever seen in the office, uh, your boss, uh, let's say one day your boss got, got anger, angry. Uh, I mean, he got he got some something something happened to him. He walking, walking angry. Can you feel darkness? The atmosphere become very dark, even though you don't see his face. You are doing sitting down in a desk. Suddenly, uh, you can feel darkness come. Or you see somebody very cheerful and smiling on. You can see that that he's radiating joy, you know. The fruit of the spirit is even more powerful than that. Is when you when there's darkness and then you have the light, you have the fruit of the spirit, the light of you are the light of the world. The darkness cannot fight instantly when you are there. All the darkness will disappear instantly. There's no fight at all. Whoever got depression, uh, instantly feel joyful. Instantly. That's how it works. Okay. Let's say your 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 how to apply. Let's say for example your, let's say you got somebody who got depression. Uh, okay, your one of your sisters or brothers got depression. You go and, before you go and meet him. Uh, you sit down in your. Your, in the quiet time, you just ask Jesus. Jesus, fill me with the spirit of love, unconditional love. Fill me, fill me, okay. Fill me the spirit of joy. Fill me the spirit of joy. The supernatural spirit of joy. Holy Spirit is the spirit of joy. Fill me. I want more joy, okay. And then peace. Give me the spirit of peace. I want spirit of peace means shalom. Shalom means healing, healing to the soul. Give me the spirit of shalom, uh, uh, healing to the spirit of healing. Okay, spirit of. of uh, uh, shalom also means rest. Also means tranquility. Give me the spirit of tranquility. Okay, I wrote it all down in the PowerPoint. Okay, later you're going to see. The spirit of peace means spirit of tranquility. Spirit of rest. Give me the spirit of... Okay, all, all these are, are Holy Spirit. That's why fruit of the spirit. Fruit of the spirit. The fruit got no S. No S. Okay, all these are from the Holy Spirit. So you just ask, I need it. I need it. You just say, I don't have. Humble yourself. I don't have. Spirit of joy, I don't have. Give me the spirit of joy. And then you receive by faith. Okay? It's instant. Maybe after next day, you, you let's say you watch a sh TV show, a fighting show. Wow. How come no rest? No, no peace already. Because the fighting show has got... got, got or uh, the Taiwanese drama show got, uh, got, got some vengeance or, or revenge. Then the... You know, so you feel very flesh in the flesh. So you ask again, Jesus, I need the spirit of, of peace. I need the spirit of long suffering. I need the spirit of, of uh, uh, patience. Give me the spirit of patience. Jesus, I need, you ask and you receive instantly. Okay. If you find that you got impatient, repent. Jesus, I repent of impatient. I, I'm sorry. I confess. I sin against you. I'm impatient. I sin against you. Worrying. I worry. I'm sorry. I'm, you repent. Then, Feel with the opposite, the good. If the bad one go you, because you repent, you must feel with the opposite, the good one. You cannot leave it empty. If you empty, what happen? The bad one come back, right or not? Jesus, feel me. Is it? That's what. That's what. That's what you mean by 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 that. Uh, uh, Ezekiel thirty six twenty seven. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. Right? You cannot obey God's command by your own flesh. It's by the Holy Spirit empowerment. Okay? All you can do is repent and ask the Spirit of 
love or joy or peace or long suffering and kind to fill you. Okay, and then you start to radiate light. You are the light of Jesus. Said you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Okay, you are a this pillar number seven is a weapon. It's a weapon. It expels darkness instantly, not not gradually, not gradually, instantly. When the person got depression walk past you instantly he feel no depression when you're in the room but when you go out uh, depression will come back unless you do deliverance for him okay and it will draw all your enemies to like you they, they don't know why they doesn't know why but all your enemies will love you relationship there will be healing this will restore relationship that's what Jesus said okay he came to give abundant life that means the devil cannot kill you and destroy relationship. Understand? Okay. Now I, I give this this slide is the most important slide. This slide could explain all the fruit, all the nine fruit, all the nine fruit. But it is using the oh, uh, almost ten o'clock already. I, 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 I'm sorry, there's no time for ministering. Okay, I think this is more important because I'm teaching you how to fish. Okay, I'm teaching you how to fish. This is more important. Okay, the nine fruit of the spirit uh, actually is more than nine. You look at the strong Greek concordance. Uh, okay, the nine fruit, for example, pistis. The original Bible, New Testament is written in Greek. So the meaning faith and faithfulness. Some uh, uh, version, uh, New King James, maybe uh, uh, faith, then another version, faithfulness, which are different, totally different. So you want to have the complete fruit of the Spirit, you must say, Jesus, fill me with the Spirit of faith so that I can move mountains. Give me the Spirit of faithfulness so that I can be faithful to obey your word. I can be faithful to obey your word. Give me the Spirit of faithfulness. Okay? If you have all this, all this, uh, more than nine, uh, here is more than, I think 15 or 16, you go and count. If you, if you ask Jesus, give me, give you all this, you are exactly like Jesus. Your, your light is shining out from your body. All the fruit, uh, all this fruit is already in your spirit because Holy Spirit is in your spirit. But you're, but not in your soul. You understand your spirit, soul and body not in your soul, not in your heart. But when you, you, you ask, fill me with this, all this spirit of faithfulness, spirit of humility, spirit of meekness, it, it, all this, all this are uh, transferred to your heart or your soul and you start to radiate light. Okay? When, you, when it's inside your heart, uh, your eyes uh, start to radiate. People see you by looking at your eyes. Your eyes is the window to your soul. Okay, when you start to read it, all this, uh, people can see, wow, eh, I feel so joyful. Don't know why. Uh, I was so depressed just now. I don't know why I feel so happy. I feel so at peace now. No more restlessness. Every time you come near me, I feel, I feel so rest. I feel so peaceful. There's something about you. Have you come across these kind of people? Uh? They come to you only if you feel, feel very peace, peaceful. There are people who, who just radiate peace. You know, Some people radiate joy. You know, always joyful one, you know, right? Okay. Uh, okay, actually, this is a practice. Lah. Okay, if you want to, uh, say with me, Lord Jesus, I can't love my enemies. Say together, love. I, Lord Jesus, I can't love my enemies and those who hurt me with my human love. Please impart to me your spirit of agape, unconditional love, so that I can love you more and I can love the unlovable and also love my enemies. Help me because I can't. I really can't. I need your help. Give me the spirit of love, spirit of agape love, unconditional love. Jesus, fill me with the spirit of agape love. Help me to love the unlovable. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Done. Once in a while, I do that. No? I, 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 I practice this so many times, uh, especially before I minister to, or, you know, me, before I minister, I always practice this. Okay? I want to be full, full of light. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Lord Jesus, fill me with the joy of the joy of your spirit. Fill me with the joy of your spirit. Let your joy become my strength. Let your joy become my strength. Give me your spirit of joy. Jesus, give me your spirit of joy. Flood my soul. Flood my soul with your spirit of joy. I want to be joyous in you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. I receive your spirit of joy. I receive. I receive in my spirit. I receive in my heart your spirit of joy. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of peace, shalom. I mean, in the strong Greek, is the word is Irene, but in the Hebrew, is shalom. Okay, Irene is Greek, shalom is Hebrew, but both is talking about the peace, peace of the Holy Spirit. So the meaning is spirit of rest, spirit of prosperity, spirit of healing, and spirit of quietness or tranquility. Say together, Lord Jesus, fill me once again with your spirit of rest. Spirit, fill me with the spirit of quietness. Quietness. Let there be tranquility in my soul, in my mind, in my emotion. Let there be rest. No more restlessness. In the name of Jesus, fill me. Let the spirit of rest come. Come upon my soul, upon my mind, upon my emotion. Let there be rest. Let there be the rest. Spirit of shalom. Holy Spirit, spirit of shalom. Feel, feel. I, I, I de- uh, Lord Jesus, fill all these people with your, with your spirit of peace, spirit of shalom. Let your shalom fall upon all these people who are watching and listening right now. Let your shalom rest upon them. Let there be rest to their soul, to your mind, to their emotions. Fill them with the spirit of healing. Let their, their soul prosper. Let their soul prosper. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So you can use your own word. Huh? I, I, the PowerPoint I give you, try to use your own word because when you change the words, you are using your heart. But you read what I wrote, huh? you are using your mind. You use your mind, no use one. When you, use, when you change the words, what I say, huh? you rephrase it, huh? you are forcing the words to enter your heart. You are forcing the word to enter your heart because you rephrase it. Okay? And then something will happen to your heart. Okay, then as a result, Lord Jesus, I repent of my impatience. I repent of my impatience. I'm so weak. I need your help, Jesus. I can't overcome my impatience. I'm sorry. Please give me more of your spirit of patience. Give me more of your spirit of patience. Empower me. Empower me by your spirit to be patient. Help me to be patient, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for not being long-suffering to others who offend me or weaker than me. You have been so long-suffering to me. I need to become long-suffering just like you. Give me the spirit of long-suffering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I receive the spirit of long-suffering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, give me the spirit of kindness. Lord Jesus, make me a channel of your kindness a channel of your compassion to the poor, to the sick and needy. Give me the spirit of kindness. Make me a channel. I want to be a channel of your kindness. Lord Jesus, give me the spirit of gentleness. The the scripture says, gentleness can break a bone and persuade rulers. Help me to be gentle as a dove. Help me to be Gentle as a dove, just like you, Jesus. I want to be like you. Give me the spirit of gentleness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, I declare your glory is your goodness. Your glory is your goodness to heal, to deliver. Fill me with your spirit of goodness. Your goodness is to show compassion by healing the sick and delivering the captives. Lord Jesus, increase my faith. Give me the gift of faith. Give me more faith to remove mountains. 
Lord Jesus, give me more faith. Increase my faith. Give all your children here more faith, more faith to operate in faith, in your word and in the spirit. Operate in your word and in the spirit. Give them more faith. Increase their faith. Lord Jesus, give, them the, give us the spirit of faithfulness. Give us the spirit of faithfulness so that we can be faithful to obey your word and your spirit all the days of my life. Give me the spirit of humility so that I will always count others better than me. I will always count others than, better than me. I will give you all the glory. I will give you all the, you, give you all the glory at all times. At all times. Give me the spirit of meekness. Just like M Moses was the, was the meekest man on earth until Jesus came. I want to be meek. I want to be meek like Moses and Jesus. Give me the spirit of, of meekness. Give me the spirit of meekness so that I can be meek. I can obey you. I, I, will, I can be meek to obey you, my shepherd and my Lord. Lord Jesus, I'm too weak to control my flesh. I'm too weak. I admit, I repent. I'm too weak to overcome my flesh. Jesus, I'm sorry. I need more of your spirit of self-control. Give me your spirit of self-control that I can overcome my flesh. Empower me by your spirit to overcome my flesh. Thank you, Jesus. Give me the spirit of temperance so that I shall live in temperance and not in extreme. I will not live in extreme, but in temperance. I will not go overboard. Okay, finish. Do you feel anything? You feel your light is coming up from you? <laughs> okay. Really, you're, you, it's not, you can't develop the, the fruit of the Spirit. You, you can't. You only can ask. It's a supernatural fruit. It's a supernatural. You cannot develop supernatural fruit by, well, I must have joy. I must have peace. Cannot. You cannot use your flesh. You just ask. You just repent of the, whatever darkness, you repent. So the darkness are gone. And fill it with light. Fill it with the opposite. Jesus, fill me with the spirit of love or, or, or long-suffering or patience. Or, that's it. Instant. You're changed. Instantly, you're changed. You don't need to take years to, to transform your character. No. It's instant. Repent and then be filled. Okay? Repent, get rid of the darkness, fill with the light. And then you have, you have all the fruit. Huh? You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. People just like you. People don't know why. Come near you and you feel joy, feel, feel peace, feel love. You're just at you're like a magnet, you know. People just like come near you. Okay? Okay? So, pillar one to five, when, if you are to join my prayer meetings, uh, only pillar one to five, you, you need to write your prayer based on pillar one to five. Six and seven, uh, six names of God also can. Uh. Seven, I think no need, no need to write. Six, the names of God, maybe one to six, uh, you can write in your prayer, okay? And you text to me uh, your, your your handphone, your, your, you want to uh, join a prayer meeting with me, okay? Together, we we'll form our own prayer group and we will practice the three types of praying, okay? You practice and practice. I think by the third session of praying, uh, you should be expert already, okay? The, the seven pillars will just flow out from your mouth. You don't need, don't need to write also. You don't need to write. You just come out naturally. Because all the, in the mind, uh, it's all there already. Okay? It's all in your mind already. You just have to practice. Okay? So, uh, we're going to practice. Uh, our prayer meeting is different also because we understand how to flow in the anointing, presence, and the glory. Okay? We understand how. Not like some prayer meeting, they, they, they just pray, 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 but they don't understand how it flows. I, I, I will explain to you how it flows during our prayer meeting, okay? It's different, okay? I was, have you all seen glory cloud before? No? Glory cloud. Presence and glory cloud different. Glory cloud is when, when many people come and most of us are very hungry, okay? 
in the presence, uh, you have to decree healing, then healing will come. But in a glory cloud, no need to decree healing. You get healed. You in the glory cloud, uh, when it's the means white smoke coming out, coming over everybody, uh, and then then you you had the you feel like in heaven, unspeakable joy. You felt that the the joy is so unspeakable. You just want to, you know, you don't mind stand there forever. You don't mind worship God forever. There's a glory cloud. I've seen one time in my life, okay, in in a uh, lighthouse church, we have a, a meeting. Uh, we we worship for five hours in a in a ballroom, three hundred people, and glory cloud came in. After that, I never seen it again. But now I understand how it works. Okay, now I I want to be in that. You know, I want everybody to train to 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 operate in the presence. Okay, and in the presence we have prayer meeting, we have worship, we have harp and bow, and then until the glory cloud comes, we 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 want to achieve that okay that's 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 my aim like you know glory come and then and then we have, i also have you know uh prophetic prophetic worship outdoor worship uh during uh feast of tabernacle feast of trumpet all the feasts we have outdoor worship uh i if uh because last few weeks uh because of the covid 19 many churches don't have uh this kind of worship so i'm forced to Organize my own worship outside, open air. Okay, the feast of trumpet I got twenty five people, feast of tabernacle I got almost thirty something people. Okay, so hungry worshiper, we worship in the spirit, we dance in the spirit. Okay, dance in the spirit means your spiritual senses, senses, your spiritual senses sense the the anointing, the flow of the Holy Spirit, and then you dance accordingly. Okay, until the presence come. Until you, you, you sometimes you hear or you, you receive open visions and then you start to uh, decree it, okay? And miracles will happen. We want to be operating in that kind of uh, uh, realm. We want to... Uh, anointing presence and the glory, okay? So, uh, I think that's it. Uh, uh, sorry, I overshot your time, your precious time. Now the clock is 10, 12. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and, and in future, I also teach on inner healing and deliverance because there are a lot of people with, even Christians, uh, they are taking medicine from IMH because when because they do not know about inner healing and deliverance. Actually, they are not, nothing wrong with them. They got spiritual attack. I also get spiritual attack before, but I learned about deliverance and inner healing, okay? So they are, they are out there in the world, there are people with, with the so-called mental problem. They are not mental problem. They got spiritual attack. So we are called to cast out demons and heal the sick. So I want to teach and raise up an uh, uh, army of people uh, walking in the presence, walking in the glory realm. And at the same time, they are healing the sick and casting out demons. Okay. I want to train an army. And then I want to give you all my PowerPoint. So when you operate on that, uh, you see result already, you go and teach others, you become a teacher. So you 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 pass on. Okay. That's why I give you all my PowerPoint. So I write up stuff so clearly for you. Okay. I give you my YouTube links so that you can watch again if you cannot remember. Mm. Okay. So in in uh next week I'll be having prayer meetings for those who want to join. And and after 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 a few weeks, uh, I will probably teach a class on inner healing and deliverance okay i will teach my teaching is different from other teachings other people teach, uh, teaching on inner healing it's, it's a bit different because i i'm taught by the spirit of revelation you see all that you hear this this few session uh, is it is it very different from from what you heard from other churches it's by revelation okay it works okay i i've, I've been operating on it on it it's not head knowledge it's not theory it works Okay, so I think we have to close now. Okay, uh, okay, uh, yeah, somebody asked for a prayer, right? Prayer, okay, uh, minister to God examples, okay, yeah, Kat we, yeah we can pray for Catherine Chon, huh? uh, okay, I'll, I'll maybe Catherine Chon, if you want prayer, you, you stay back, everybody, 
uh, after everybody leave, we'll just pray for, for, for you, uh, Catherine John. And uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit, uh, explain what is baptism of the Holy Spirit. I think everybody is, anyone here is not baptized with the Holy Spirit. If you cannot, you are not baptized with the Holy Spirit, you cannot operate in the presence or operate in the anointing. Okay, anybody, raise your hand. Anybody here who is not baptized in the Holy Spirit? Okay, so nobody raised their hand. So I think it should be okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. Okay, we have a closing prayer. Then those who want to stay back for, for prayers can stay back. Thank you, Father God. Thank you so much for teaching us this, uh, this revelation. I thank you that these lives are forever changed. I thank you that these, these lives will, will be operating in a different realm, in different levels, in the presence, operating in not just anointing, but in the presence, in the glory. And I thank you that they will hear your voice so clearly as they pray and minister to you in spirit to spirit, presence to presence. They will come to a time they will hear your audible voice even. Yes. Just like Moses can hear your audible voice, they will also hear your audible voice and they shall do only what they see the Father do, do, do what you, they see you do and say what they hear you say. Yes, I, I thank you that this, 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 this children of yours shall carry your glory to all nations. They, they shall be your instruments to bring the knowledge of your glory to cover the earth as the water covers the sea. I thank you for, 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 for transforming them. No more lambs, no more, they are, they are, they are, you are transforming them from sheep into lions, demon crushing lions and prophetic eagles. Not just sheep alone, but now they are becoming and becoming lions and prophetic eagles. I thank you. They shall soar in the spirit. They shall soar in the spirit and the eyes of their understanding shall be open. If the eyes of their understanding shall be open and they shall receive revelation in, in their, 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 as they yield their soul, their mind to you, they shall receive revelation. They shall walk in the spirit and host your presence, your glory. Thank you, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Okay.